I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh... What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Hey now, sharing is caring. To internet or not to internet? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? This poster definitely says <laughs> something. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Sweet caller, Pepe. Should be life is drama. 
must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Save my life. Get some ink. I'm gonna guess it's from... Logan. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Sure you don't want to just grab the bus or nope if we're gonna go rogue we're doing it right well what the hell am i getting into here Chair Price, the view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates.
There's my chair. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. There's my chair. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. I is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Uh, <laughs> so, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So... Which is the lie? You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've gotta be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? That'd be cool. Like Artemis. But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Seriously? Hear me roar. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. I've never been there, though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list, then. Sounds good. Okay, 
Your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's weird. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's... Ah, uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. What do you mean? You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. <laughs> oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. You've passed by my locker? Stalker much? Hey, I notice things. I can't help it. I guess you're no stranger to being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is 
something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket, then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations, second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen?
bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. What brought that on? Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it!
Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Looks like this one might actually be working. Rachel's quarter is still trapped in there, waiting to be set free. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? That is the look of a person who is used to getting what she wants. Wonder what that feels like. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. 
would love a quarter even more. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. Yuck. Cliché much, A.W. and B.W.? If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost, or some shit. Stealing a dedication plate takes Persistence. <laughs> Wait, is that the same AW as before? Not afraid of commitment, I see. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Whoa, that's badass. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. If you're going to argue in public, at least have the decency to make it about something interesting. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Yeah, let's not do that today. Cars got power, activate. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? 
Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? <laughs> no matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. <laughs> Jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. I don't know. I might still be hungover from last night. Wrong answer. You don't ask a girl out and then... and then not buy her a drink. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> Oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. Oh, 
Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Rachel! Run! What the hell? So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that alright with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. N no. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score.
Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer. But when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this, exactly? I mean... Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what, exactly? You know, like... A friendship. But more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just, today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But... I can't. I can't. Even though I want to. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Fuck this place. Understood your heart on for cameras, Max. He took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David.
Dad. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I don't feel drunk. Sometimes, people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it.
you came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome and... You had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad? 
will definitely punish me with... I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. Come on.
No one steals from me. I want my fucking money! <laughs>